Hello there, everybody. Welcome back for some more Uncharted 3. Last time we finally made it to the chateau. We're out, well, of course, we're outside of the chateau. And now we're going to head on in the actual technical inside part. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm explaining literally everything that we're doing right now, but hey. Well, technically, we were inside it at one point, but then we got knocked back out of it. But anyway, yeah, whatever. Whenever I think Chateau, I always think of the multiplayer, of course. Just like I do in every situation here. Alright, so we should be coming up on a puzzle pretty soon. I think it's like after this. Like, once we head down these this ladder here, I think there should be a puzzle. If I remember correctly, but I guess we'll see. And also, I think that guy's actually a playable character, too. If I remember... I'm pretty... Well, I'm pretty sure he is, yeah. Hold on. Let's just drop down. There's no reason. Uh, let me think here. Yeah, this one. Um, I used to be pretty good at remembering exactly which order everything was in. But it's been a while, so... Plus, it's also super fucking dark. I can't see shit. Um, yeah, you start here, and then there's like a little thing in the notebook somewhere that should tell us. I think. Yeah, I heard it, I know. Alright, you know what, yeah. Just fucking open the page. Or not. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was like a certain... There it is. So, let's see, we do four squares, three X. Okay. That should be... I think it's this. And then it's four of these, right? And then it's two X. And then three square. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, kind of nifty that he has that in his book, though. Not gonna lie. Well, then, yeah, I think that was Francis Drake's notes, right? Okay, you know what? Hang on. I know this is gonna probably bother some people, but... It just, it bugs the shit out of me, so... I don't know what happened. Uh, let me do one more. Let me bright it up just one more time. There we go. I don't know exactly what the hell happened, but somehow, in some way, shape, or form, my Elgato reset itself and now it's just in this default like it's in this default reset program every single time I open it up and it's just it's so fucking aggravating that it just keeps doing this shit to me like I had all my settings a certain way I had everything a certain way I had my mic volume a certain way it's just obnoxious man it's really obnoxious just like me apparently so you know yeah, we get used to that. Oh well. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just, you know, delete Elgato and re-download it or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure exactly yet. Alright, here we go. So yeah, I was going to say Drake should be able to do this on his own. I don't need to do anything with it. He knows what he's doing. Exactly. Alright. Oh yeah, I had to... Yeah, I forgot I have to actually press buttons here. Forgot what game I was playing for a second. Alright, and down we go. No worry about fall damage, considering the fact that, you know, it's just going to kick into a cutscene anyway. So, yeah. That helps. Whoa, I about dropped that on the ground. That would have been really loud. Holy fuck, everything's so goddamn dark. I mean, I know the game's supposed to be dark, but it's not supposed to be this dark. That's just... That's, again, my capture card being goofy. So it's one of those things I'm going to have to fix at some point. But, you know, if I record all day, then no need to fix it, right? Because <laughs> it'll just be in the same stationary position as it always is. Oh, this one. Uh, 
I used to also remember exactly which one this one was too. I, you know what? I might actually. Maybe. Guess we'll find out. Which one's moving right now? That one. Oh man. Okay, I don't remember exactly where. Okay. Square DNA. Can't do symbol for the eagle. That game, I would like to fucking do that, please. The sea eagle? Looks like it. So this one goes right here. And then in terms of where the horse and the other one goes, there should be another thing that's held. Yeah, so. Horse. Oh, horse goes next to the bird. Like, was it one up and one to the left? Yeah, two to the left. And it's the right horse. The right facing horse. And then the game will tell you pretty much where the line's at. Well, actually, the game should be able to tell you where most of this stuff is at. Because, like, if you look at these symbols on the ground, it'll, keep, it'll give you kind of an idea. Although, I think, if I remember correctly, I think these are... Like, oh, yeah, it's it's above this, it's below this, you know. It's kind of hard to exactly get it perfectly, but... Anyway, just look for, like, these general directions of things, so... Okay... Okay, let me double check one more time. Okay. I think I might got it. I think I might have gotten that one. So I think that goes right here. Was that even it? Well, I don't know, because... Hold on. I think so. I, I could recheck one more time, make sure there's the actual... B looking thing. I don't think there is. No, it's just those two symbols. Okay. So we gotta find the one that has like the two. Which should be right here. Yes. And then as for the right side horse, if I remember correctly, he might have his own thing. Because the eagle, well, that's the lion, that's the eagle. This one's gone. <laughs> As for exactly where the horse was, it's probably this one, if anything. It's like a little square. Okay, the moon thingy. And then the trident thingy. Okay, I think I might know exactly where that's at. I think that was just where we were just at, to be fair. Well, maybe, like, yeah, right around where it's... There it is. Perfect. Not a bad puzzle, but if you do remember pretty much every... Every where it's at, then, yeah, you'll be fine, of course. No duh. No dip. Lord Godfrey, hold on. Wait a minute. Is there Godric in this game, too? Hopefully the gameplay is loud enough. It probably isn't. No, on this damn thing, it probably is not. <laughs> I'm sure the shooting is going to be, like, blowing my ears out, though. Ah. I can't remember directly if we actually go to Yemen in this game. I'm pretty sure we do, but... I'm, I'm once again thinking about the multiplayer stuff. And thinking about that map in particular. That was a pretty fun map. But I'm pretty sure next time... Well, the next level that we're going to should be Syria. Oops. Sorry, I hit triangle to go underneath to see if that would work. Sorry about having dead air. I know people hate that, but... I just don't have really much to say right now. It's just Uncharted. I don't know what to really talk about until I'm actually playing the game. That and I also just... I also just ate a little bit earlier, so I'm kind of trying not to make any noises. Any sudden movements or talk too much. That kind of thing. Because it would definitely bug a lot of people. Probably should have waited to record, I know, but... Yeah.
All right, here we go. Time for the spider run part. Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. You could have thrown me yours. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't need any more. The door's closed. Like, what are they going to do? Come out of, the, you know, break open the door and go through and get them? No. All right, so basically, for this part, you want to stay next to Soli. The game will literally tell you basically what to do here. If I remember correctly, I don't think this is time-based, though. It shouldn't be. But we'll probably treat it like it is. And this is going to be the beginning of one of the best parts of Uncharted. I'm not a big fan of the... I mean, the spider part's fine and all, but I'm just saying, like, it gets... It gets better when we're done with the spider shit. This is pretty much just the precursor. Ha, <laughs> you know, Jack. Time to run! And yeah, you're gonna be you're taking damage there no matter what, so... It doesn't really matter what difficulty you're on. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna get knocked into gray health anyway. Also, I do want to say, if I'm ruining this game... Because, like, again, this is a movie-esque game. Oh, yeah, hit square to... Okay, that was my bad. I forgot to do that. Yeah, you want to hit square to knock them off you. If I'm ruining this game for people, because you just want to watch, like, the cutscenes, I don't know why you're watching my Let's Play when you could be watching cutscenes. Like, if it bugs you, you know, that I'm ruining the atmosphere, I'm ruining the hype, then I get it, but... No. No. You can just go watch, you know, the actual things or play the game. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here. I was doing what I do best, which is be fucking obnoxious. So, yeah. All right. Now, to figure out where to go next, which is going to be obvious, because we've already been there before. So we go on this way. This area always reminds me of that one part in Uncharted 2 where you're getting shot down by that helicopter thing. I can't remember somebody to say, like, Oh my god, spoilers for Uncharted 2! Like, dude. If you don't want me spoiling Uncharted 2, then you shouldn't be watching Uncharted 3, then. Because typically, most of the time, these games are kind of somewhat after one another. Well, I mean, not completely. That Well, yeah, they are, but I'm saying that, you know... These still do kind of take place one after the other. Although they don't exactly have like the most references to the older games. They just kind of have like some of the characters from the older games. So, yeah. You're missing a lot. Alright. I want to get I want to get down to start shooting some enemies. Which is going to happen, I think, right about now. Yeah, they really don't care about historical... Uh, Persevere, or what's that thing called? Damn it. Um, what's that? Th when you preserve. Yeah, I'm just forgetting things. Anyway, you can shoot the gas can there, blow them up. Start climbing this way. And you're going to want to go back and forth. You're going to want to, you know, Metroid wall jump this, basically. At least it feels like it. And then these guys are going to start shooting at you, but you can hang on to this and should be able to aim up. It just takes a little longer to kind of aim whenever you're hanging off a, a ledge. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but they want you to kind of hang here, to be honest. <laughs> That's probably why it's taking longer. But this was, like, my favorite part of this game for the longest time. It still, for the most part, is. But I still feel like the demo kind of felt like it was a bit more impactful than the actual campaign. But that could just mean me... You know, going through it the first time, be like, oh my god, this is so cool. On, but yeah, I, I still argue this is probably one of my favorite parts. Has one of the best music in the game. Uh, and just kind of like a nice, tense atmosphere to it. The music definitely helps, of course, which you can't probably hear very well because I'm too loud. But, like I said, there's always plenty of YouTube videos out there. This scene probably done way better than what I can do it. I don't know why these guys are taking forever to kill, but... Alright. Blew himself up. Nice. Let's go. 
Time to get the fuck out of here. I was gonna say, if I remember correctly, I think this is the way. Yep, nice, good. Get some good headshots going. Alright, come on. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, no, go, no, not going that way. Oops. Alright, looks like we're stuck. There it is. Yeah, it'll, basically, it'll just appear eventually because I'm pretty sure these guys will start shooting at the walls and stuff. At least I thought they did. Oh. Uh -oh. Checking for treasure, just in the off chance that there might be some. And here we go. Here's the main part. Oh yeah, I forgot that this game you can just walk up to stuff and climb it. You don't have to worry about pressing buttons. Well, this one you're gonna have to. Alright, up we go. Oop, nope. Shit's falling out. <laughs> of course. The things I happen to be climbing on are getting all kinds of fucked. Oop. Alright, time to big it out with our cocks out. Let's go. This would be one hell of a thing to go through. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh man, there goes all the the cool action that I just had there. I fucked it all up. Yeah, for these doofuses, all you gotta do is just technically fight them. Yes, it's the same guy from earlier. Although, in all technicality, I don't, I don't know if this is the exact same 100% for sure person from, like, you know, the, the bar fight, exactly. I always assume that this is technically a different guy, but he has, like, the same design. But I wouldn't be surprised if he actually was the same dude from, like, way back then. Why he wants to fight me in the fire, I have no idea. It seems kind of like a dumb idea to me, if you ask me. We should be getting out of here, not trying to, you know, yeah. But then again, these guys probably don't care. They just want to risk their lives for their their overlord Talbot. So, and plus, you know, game. I mean, kind of need something to do while you're here, right? Oh, I about shot them too. Hey, he at least he dropped the torch this time. That was nice of him. Fucking shotgunners. And of course, like, what the fuck am I playing? I'm pretty sure I'm playing on normal. Like, there's no way in, in hell you could die this fast in normal. Also, by the way, you can shoot these guys and kill them that way. You don't have to fight them! If you don't want to. It's completely up to you. There you go. I do like that finisher where he just kind of falls over to hit hit the guy. When Drake falls over, I mean. I also like how in this game, whenever you're picking something up, you're able to like kind of like double pick up things. So, for instance, if there's, like, ammo on the ground and there's, like, a grenade right next to it, you, you have a chance to sometimes just pick both up at the same time. It's really quite nice. Yes, I remember he was there. Don't worry. You know, there's not really a lot of action when it comes to the Chateau part, besides the obvious action being everything blowing up around me. Which reminds me, we're getting pretty close to the 2017 part, actually. Yeah, the, the same footage I used for the 2017 lineup video. We're getting pretty damn close to it. Okay, no, here was, like, the main part where I think things get really crazy. And now we have to protect ourselves. This part's really difficult when it comes to, like, crushing slash brutal mode. It might have been brutal mode I'm thinking of. But I usually end up getting killed right there. Yeah, don't worry. I don't think most of this is timed anyway, at least. I mean, there's probably a certain amount of time to it, but the game gives you plenty, so. It's no biggie. It's not like God of War 3 when you're chasing Hermes down. It's not that annoying. <laughs> I 
Also, I think the song itself is called Oh No Chateau, if I remember correctly. So that's pretty much what I'm going to name this episode. I don't know why, but this is always kind of felt like a cool part. Wanting to climb that shit. It just looks so fun to climb. Wait. The actual cool music part didn't really pick up much. What the hell? Are there no... I don't think there is treasures in the fire part, though. They probably don't want you to go worry about that shit too much. Alright, here's a cool thing. Take cover behind the uh, tub. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually kind of considering, like, what if I do a Let's Play of Last of Us? Because Last of Us 1 was pretty good. For fuck's sake, I'm such a bad shot at everything. I'm so bad at everything I do, right? <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I need to stop saying that by myself, because it's not true. I just got that goofy arm brain, you know what I mean? That just fucks with me. Boop. Trade ya. Even though I kind of wanted more ammo, but the only way to realistically get more ammo out of that would be to trade him. Oh, come on. There's no way in hell that actually hit me. Fuck off. Goddamn, I still love this game, though. It's still one of the best. Hello? Alright, nothing should happen. Never mind. <laughs> Things always happen. It's also cool how, like, a lot of the smoke makes a lot of this area look very gray. I've always kind of liked that. Alright, here comes the 2017 lineup video shot. Yes, the one. Once we're running away, this part is definitely going to be timed, though. And if I remember correctly, I don't, I, don't, I don't remember if I'm the one that actually recorded that scene. Time to jump. And we're done. Cutscene. Alright, cool. That's all of Chateau. And again, next up will be the Syria part. And I'm definitely very serious about it. About doing it. Because I have to. Well, I don't have to, but yeah. Also, Drake's forearms are really big. But then again, he probably needs them to climb. <laughs> so, maybe. I've just always, you know, thought that, like, oh, his forms are pretty big. Let me mute the mic real quick just for a few seconds here. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully, you're strong as an ox. Sorry there. I had to clear up my throat for a second. Look, I don't want to, you know, cough shit out on the mic. It's kind of gross. Because it's cool, Soli. I'm doing it for the lulls. What do you think? Sully actually having a epiphany of all the Uncharted games. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> this shit's kind of reckless now. <laughs> I mean, I damn near basically got shot that one time. Luckily, there was a book protecting me, but hey. All right, well, better buy the next plane ticket out of here. Luckily, Drake makes enough money to pretty much fly anywhere in the world. All that treasure we pick up. The next night? Oh, wow. Actually, are we... I, I don't know. I'm not going to bother with trying to figure things out. Does Sully get a change of clothes? Or is it just that dark that it doesn't show red anymore? I'm pretty sure you probably got to change the clothes. 
of course, at least for Nate, you know, there's no reason to because why would he bother? Although, to be fair, actually, he maybe he did get a slight change. Nah, I don't know. Okay, to be fair, so like, has anybody been a hostage-taking type of guy in the past two games anyway? <laughs> you know, that, that was always one thing that kind of always baffled me, was like, why would Soli just all of a sudden want to not really quit, but more so, you know, be a little more worried now? Or at least be a little bit more worried than he normally is. Like, all of a sudden. Like, I get it, you know, that was probably his most craziest situation he was probably in. Technically speaking. So I just, I like looking at places. You know, I've never really looked at the outside of this area before. I didn't even know there was a road right there. That's crazy. That's cool. I like that. Fucking A. Go up. And for treasure wise, there's some weird spots for treasure though. If I remember correctly. Also, we get a new gun in this chapter, which is pretty nice. Yeah, if I... I could have sworn there's, like, treasure, like, maybe over here or something. Well, you have to climb up that way anyway, but... Mm, might be misremembering things. Okay, yeah, so this is where we have to go. And I think there might be treasure... Can you please, like, climb over and stop breaking my goddamn... Stop breaking my goddamn game? There it is. Told ya. We just gotta make sure we jump to the right one here. There we go. And I think this will just basically lead you back. There shouldn't be any more treasure nearby. Well, again, there shouldn't be any treasure nearby. Down here or anything like that. I think there was only just the one, so it should be fine. Yeah, Nate can't jump if he doesn't have his legs onto something. He's not... He's not, uh, what's his nuts from Jedi Fallen Order. Okay, I was going to say, is there like a way down there? But then again, most likely the game's just going to make me fall down there anyway, so. Which at least that. Oops. You know, the good thing about these games is they make it still pretty damn obvious, for the most part, exactly where to climb. They don't ever really try to make it too obvious. Well, they don't give you, like, yellow paint everywhere. Yeah, again, it's not too difficult to figure out, but still. It's just nice knowing that a game like this back then didn't have to, you know, worry too much about trying to lead the player that much, like we do in these new games nowadays. There's one of treasure here, but I guess there's not... There might be some around, I just don't remember exactly where. Leap of Faith, alright, cool. And also another cool thing about getting stealth kills is sometimes you'll get random items from them, like you'll get a full mag or whatever, which is pretty nifty. I'm trying to think. Yeah, we, okay, I see now. We jump to, uh, we jump to the other side to climb down that ladder to get there. Of course they saw me, assholes. And the thing is with this game, like, once you're out of stealth, you're pretty much out of stealth. Also, holy shit, this game is chucking like a motherfucker. <laughs> Probably would have been better if I did play it on PlayStation. Or PS5 and all that. To be fair. Yeah, I don't really need the stealth kills. I just want to get a kill. Having the mag would have been nice, but it's fine. This is the para, right? Pretty sure. I'm not a fan of Uncharted's pistols. I mean, yeah, in campaign, like, they're okay. Oh, well. Fucked up a grenade. Time to leave. Time to bolt. Time to T-bolt. Yeah, they got rid of our actual primary. Okay, cool. I prefer the micro, to be fair, but I could run with this for a bit. Yeah, 45 is not my favorite. But I wouldn't mind just trying to show off most of, my, most of the things that I possibly can here. I probably should show off the propane thing. 
Although it's just been a while since I've... Oh, there it is. It was L2. Yeah, because you basically throw it like a grenade and then you just shoot it. And now we need Sully for this. I could have sworn there's treasure in this room. Huh, weird. Alright, time to let him in. Run up to here. Come on. Come on, Sully. Unless I have to be on this side for it to work. Yeah, of course. I don't know why they're so damn picky about that. Also, there's a bathroom right there. I never really thought about that. You don't really think about bathrooms in games very, very much. As in, like, the actual utility of a bathroom, you know? You never really think about, like, oh, wow, that's a place where people shit and piss. You more so think, like, oh, yeah, you know, there's just another bathroom area in Doom 3. Seen that before. See it all the time. Before we go in there, I want to check up here real quick. Just in the off chance for anything extra. Yes, I'm wasting time. I'm well aware of that. But you never know. I, I kind of want to get some treasure so that way Nate can actually get some money out of this. It's like uh, Dante from DMC. Where, you know, after every game he has to sell his weapons so he can make money. <laughs> Which is still one of the funniest things. I, I prefer, like... I don't mind having no explanation for how a game can continue from one to another. I don't mind not having that. But it, it's, it's always kind of nice seeing when a game does give you the ability to see, you know, that. So, for example, basically Metroid Prime, where even though it's really goofy and silly how it works, I still don't mind the idea that Samus got knocked you know, so hard on her ass that she basically lost all her upgrades. Also, this might just be an Elgato thing, but I think something's up with um, the aspect ratio. I probably need to go change that, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, come on, you wussy. That wasn't that far down. Shouldn't be able to die from that. Although he's probably not actually dead. He's probably just knocked out. Where did he go, anyway? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I was going to say, if they get rid of the bodies, that would be kind of weird. Alright, what do we get for stealth-wise? Nothing. There's our treasure. And he didn't see anybody. There we go. And that's the thing you can hide in, I believe. And this is where we're going. Yes. Climb. Asswipe. <laughs> If you're wondering how much treasure you have in a chapter, you can always go to the chapter select thing and find out that way. Oh yeah, we have to actually shoot that thing. Uh, hold on. Look, my controller aim is not that great, okay? There we go. Speaking of controller aim, I thought about buying Trepang 2, but I didn't. I was going to buy it on PlayStation. Which, I know, it's like, well, why would you do that when it's already on PC? It's like, I, I know, but... Something about, like, I, I have a problem where I, I still like getting trophies, even though I've basically said a million times that I don't care anymore, yet I still kind of do. Like, that small little dopamine still kind of hits every once in a while. It's really annoying. You know what's funny? I'm starting to remember this place from the co-op adventure things, or the co-op arena shit. Which you can't, you probably can't do anymore, I don't think. I don't know if you can even land party that one. I'm not really sure. Alright, trying to remember exactly where we're supposed to be going. I think we're going this way. Sully, can you just go to the next location? Can you just be Kai Sinet's chat and tell me where to go next? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm hoping that, hopefully, this whole aspect ratio thing didn't fuck up everything. I have so many problems with this damn thing right now, it's not even funny. Yeah, thanks, Cutter. Thanks for the insightful words of wisdom there that you had. A 
got it all in here. And here comes the, the ever so famous Uncharted. Let's talk about what we discovered and then just stare down at a book for like the next few seconds. They tend to do that a lot. If you really, if you start to really notice, you kind of, you kind of notice that a lot, especially in three. Yeah, sorry about that. I dropped my controller right on top of my capture card, and it knocked the thing right the fuck out. Luckily, there's one good thing about Elgato, where it likes to do this thing where it will essentially, um, it will just end the video and make it like actually exported well I have to export it but it makes it to where it's exportable still like the whole video itself is fine there's nothing that nothing broke just I have to go through and basically combine the two videos together not a big deal it's not too hard I have a video editor so it's it's fine video editor as in like well I have to do the editing but there is a editing tool I have that I use that's pretty quick one of them fast Microsoft ones that just you just put in go and yes, it does take up, you know, it does eat up space in the background and it hides it from you. And then you have to go through and delete your video projects in order to get rid of it. Of that extra space, it's fucking stupid. I hate how they do that crap, but, you know. I remember when I downloaded the DaVinci Resolve and it had that same problem too. It kept eating up gigs. And I was wondering, like, why they were. And then you find it. Would you fuck off and move? Pfft. <laughs> God damn. Oh, there's a mag right here. I wouldn't mind trying to show off most of the weapons in this game. It just really depends on... You know, depends on a lot of things. Alright, can we stealth kill? Yes, we can. From what I remember, yeah, you can get a free stealth kill here. I think I want that other way first, huh? Come on. There we go. Yeah, you gotta make sure you look at him. You want to hide over here, take cover, and then knock him out. Technically, I believe you can stealth kill, I think, most, if not everybody. But this guy coming around the corner right now, I think he will spot... Oh, no. Maybe... I could have sworn like, he spots the guards, but maybe not. Come on, dude. Turn around. That might be a different guy I'm thinking of. Or maybe he spots me. <laughs> Drop grenade. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to my nades, or why I need more. But God damn it! I guess. Oh nope, we're fine. God damn it! Whatever. So basically, the mag is pretty much an insta kill. Watch out for the red, red lasers. <laughs> About shot cutter. <laughs> All right. So you can't really aim in with this one. As in, you can't just, like, zoom in. That's what I meant to say. What's funny is you can technically do a combo attack. Okay, that should have killed. Anyway, this is the G-Mall. And, or G-Mall. And what it does, it pretty much just is a first gun. Pretty fun weapon, actually. Oh, I'd say a little hard to use-ish. Kind of. I mean, it is burst, so... That you know, might make it harder for some people to play with, but still one of my favorite guns in the game. Can you guys just fucking piss off? Go somewhere else. God damn, let me fucking run around and look for shit. <laughs> Holy fuck a moly, dude. I'm just trying to, like, figure shit out, and they're just blocking my way every goddamn direction possible in here. Oh, here we go. All right. What's that? What was that thing called? Rusty Sprinkler. <laughs> right? Rusty Sprinkler. Ah, oh, the Rafika. Yeah. Alright, that's also another burst gun. So if you like using burst weapons, then here you go. Which I don't personally mind, to be fair. I like burst weapons in games. I think they're kind of cool. Just kind of depends on the game, I guess. Alright, where the hell do we go now? Should be some stairs that go up. There should be a door. 
Well, there's stairs that go up first, and then there should be a door. Can you fucking pull out your gun and kill him? <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm so bad. Like, I know it's my fault, I'm just... I don't know. I like the bitch and everything! Oh god, getting attacked from... Oh shit, we got an armored guy! And there's a guy right behind me, who would've guessed? I knew there's a I, I knew there's a shotgun guy in there somewhere, I just didn't know exactly where he was. Bro was kinda hiding from me a little bit. Well anyway, there's your Rafika. Yeah, you can't really aim in with pistols. Except for I think the sniper pistol. Which, you know. Should be able to aim in with, of course. The hip firing on this thing is pretty okay. Uh, just like with most weapons in this game, like hip fire is usually pretty alright. Alright, we need to back the fuck up and throw nades. As in, get the fuck away from it. <laughs> Luckily, uh, your partners can't die to grenades. Well, they shouldn't be able to. And these guys, you can technically just punch, but you can only really realistically do that when their helmets are off. If you try engaging in melee combat, then it'll kind of fuck up. Is he dead dead? He's dead dead. Alright. I was gonna say, I saw some ammo somewhere. And there should be, I think, either another pair of stairs that we can climb up, or there should be a door. Or I have to go fucking actually climb, climb. Ah, here we go. Yeah, because that, that armored guy came down from somewhere. So here we go. Damn it. Surprised that Nate did not take any fucking damage there, of all things. <laughs> like you think he would. If I remember correctly, they're should be, I think, treasure here, too. But, I don't know. Oh, this part's annoying. If you're a fuck-up like I am, you're probably gonna end up screwing up your your shots here. So, be careful. This kind of scares me a little bit, not gonna lie. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. Just the waving around the camera and everything. Also, I was gonna say, the game should give you ammo back. Oh, there's that dumb fuck. I'm like, where am I getting shot from? Because there's no window for them to be open and shoot me at. That's not until, like, a little bit later. Yeah, like, when, it, it's weird, because, like, looking up... Ooh, this makes me freaked out. Oh, I hate that. It's giving me, uh... It's a thing called... Ver not, maybe, like, vertigo, maybe. Yeah, probably. It's one of those things where... As weird as it sounds, like, looking down from, like, a high up place doesn't really fuck with me too much as much as like looking up I've always had like this weird distinctive fear of like accidentally looking up and getting sucked into fucking space yeah this is what the scope does of course no reason to be doing that pay not when we're that close yeah I think these things can explode yeah it's about to do it there it goes Okay, and here's our door. There's just one problem, though. This fucking asshole. Oh. Okay. Nice. I'm trying to fucking... <laughs> I'm hitting circle to dodge. <laughs> yes, circle is technically a dodge button. Yeah, just fucking fill them with mags. They don't have to worry about fighting them. Or just beat them normally. It doesn't really matter either way. And there you go. Door open. I guess I should probably do this part real quick, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. Like, I don't know exactly when I should probably end the episode, because I'm just going to continue on. Alright, fine, whatever. We'll just continue from here for a little bit. I don't want to stretch this out to like an hour, but it might have to happen. Oh, is this the part where I have to actually look myself? Yeah. Don't worry, for the most part, I know where it's at. 
I think you have to look at the constellation first, and then after that is when you have to look down. So, yeah, basically you're looking for that old fella. See, there's that. Can you please use it then? Yeah, can we can we look? Drake, god damn it, can I use the fucking binoculars or not? I'll just say fucking in the episode here. You know what? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time for some more Uncharted 3. And as always, take care, everybody.